In the mid-1960s, during the height of the Batman craze on television, low-budget filmmakers sought to capitalize on the superhero phenomenon with their own unique interpretations of caped crusaders. The wild wild world of Batwoman stands out as one of the most unusual and infamous examples of this trend. The film was produced and directed by Jerry Warren, a filmmaker known for his penchant for re-editing and repackaging existing footage to create new movies. The wild wild world of Batwoman was no exception. It featured a hodgepodge of scenes from various sources, including a Soviet science fiction film called She Demons of the Swamp and footage from Warren's previous projects. The plot of the film revolves around a mysterious and scantily clad heroine named Batwoman. Along with her all-female crime-fighting team, battles a villainous scientist named Rat Fink. Batwoman and her team employ a range of unusual gadgets and tactics to combat the evildoers, including hula hoops with explosive properties and a magic talking crystal ball. The film also includes bizarre musical interludes and dance numbers, adding to its overall eccentricity. Despite its low production values, lack of a coherent storyline, and often cringeworthy dialogue, the wild wild world of Batwoman has achieved a certain notoriety for its unintentional humor and campiness. It became a favorite among fans of So Bad It's Good cinema and has been featured in numerous lists of the worst movies ever made. In addition to its peculiar narrative, the film also garnered attention due to legal disputes with DC Comics, the company behind Batman. DC Comics took legal action against the film's producers, claiming copyright infringement and trademark violations. As a result, the film was pulled from circulation for a period, adding to its mystique. Over the years, the wild wild world of Batwoman has found a second life as a cult classic, with midnight screenings, fan clubs, and discussions among aficionados of offbeat cinema. It serves as a testament to the enduring appeal of weird and eccentric films that defy conventional expectations. While The Wild Wild World of Batwoman may not be a historical documentary in the traditional sense, it has earned its place in cinematic history as a unique and offbeat contribution to the world of cult cinema. It continues to be celebrated and enjoyed by those who appreciate the strange and unusual in the world of film.